Hello, Carl. Hello. Simon. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Thank you for welcoming me. <laughs> Most welcome. Could you tell me a little bit more about yourself and your job? Yes. I have worked here for many years with biodiversity conservation and we look at various species, um, mainly large mammals or small mammals, some birds and so on in the whole region. Um, lately we have also looked at uh, biodiversity in the palm oil sector and plantations. Mm -hmm. we, have, we work with them to try to set up uh, sustainability criteria and, and, and look at of course, uh, wildlife yeah. in, in, in a plantation. Mm -hmm. What do you concretely, concretely do to improve the biodiversity in the, in the plantations? Well, you're actually not increasing the biodiversity. You go in before you lose it. And in, in the plan, then you actually you, you account for the different biodiversity-rich areas and then you, you, you don't develop them. There are some species which can live only in the primary forest. Yes. And are there also some species which can live in the plantations? Yes, there are always some uh, type of species that are able to adapt to new or different circumstances. They are generalist and uh, we find a couple of those species in the plantations and, and they can be quite useful actually. Barn owls and snakes are usually, or snakes in this case, most likely are black cobras and something called uh, rat snakes. Mm -hmm. um, they, they feed extensively on, on rats and uh, because they do that, then they do a very good service for, for our ec ecological service for the plantations because rats are really pests. If there's too many rats, they eat the seeds, they eat the fruits, and there's a huge loss to the plantation. They prevent or they, they avoid using uh, chemicals to, I mean, to poison the rats, and which is good, so it's a biological pest management. And uh, some of the concrete action steps you see in, in many uh, palm oil companies is actually on the ground in the estates. When they develop new uh, plantations, they do a proper uh, land use plan before they start clearing it. And once they have set it all up, with small conservation areas, with river repairing zones, and so that there's, there's animals from the forest can colonize the plantation and vice versa. Mm -hmm. So you see uh, quite a nice biodiversity level in, in, in a lot of those new establishments.